Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this subliminal blinking strobe or clone effect with your videos. So this effect is going to require a stable sort of tripod stabilized motion shot, something where the camera is not moving, but the things within it are, particularly if you have a subject within the photo. Now this person can come in different parts of the frame at different times, and also it would be more helpful if not much is moving in the background. In this case, yes, the waves are moving a little bit, but you know, we're not turning a light bulb on and off. Things aren't drastically changing too much, so we can be able to composite them together without too much difference. So the first thing we're gonna do is just duplicate our clip on top of itself. I'll hold Option and click and drag on my video clip to pull out a copy. Now the next thing I can do is find the portion of the clip where that I want to blend in. So let's say when this woman has walked a little bit further. So this portion and this portion together, we're going to try to mix them. So I'm going to actually trim this second clip into this point and I'm going to start it at the beginning. So we've created a difference in time. Right now we have these two portions at the same time and I want them both to show. So I can just do that by creating a simple mask. In the effect controls panel, I'm going to add a new mask under the opacity section. I'll use a four point polygon mask. Just make sure you're in the program window so you can see your mask and I'll move it over our subject here. Now you do want to be careful. Like I said, the waves are going to be in different positions here. So if I just keep it tight up to the subject, that way there's less chance of differences, maybe even add a good amount of mask feathering then I can track our subject a little bit for as long as I want the subliminal clone to blink. So let's say I only wanted to blink for a couple of seconds as a sort of subliminal effect. So I want to make sure that my mask is tracked for the entirety of that two seconds. And I can do that by starting at the first frame, adding a keyframe on the mask path. I will click on the mask highlight, you know, mask number one so we can see it. And then just move it over. Uh, there are automatic tracking tools. I've done tutorials on them, this play button or step forward button. But in this case, it'll be pretty simple for me to just do it by hand. Just create a couple keyframes, move forward a little bit. Every time she moves a little bit, I will move forward as well. And with three or four keyframes, I've successfully tracked her. Now for one, that works on its own. I could keep this going and we've created kind of a clone of her. But if we wanted to blink kind of like a subliminal effect, I can in the effects panel search for the strobe light effect that's in the stylized video effects folder. And I can add that onto our copied clip and just change it to makes layer transparent. So essentially it'll hide and show the layer over and over. And you can change the speed of it in the strobe duration and strobe period section. So 0.51 will blink half a second on, half a second off. Something like 0 0.2, 0 0.4 will blink every 0.2 seconds. And if I play that back to show you what it looks like, I'll render a preview. I pressed I and O to create an in and out point. And you can see it's sort of flickering. If I really want that kind of subliminal messaging look, I can try something even faster like 0 0.1, 0 0.2. And here's what that looks like. And I can make this occur really at any point. So if I don't want it to occur there, maybe I can wait till the two are a little closer together. And I can also trim it. So if that was too fast, I can trim it down. Or if it wasn't long enough, I can extend it out a little bit and just make sure the mask keyframes apply as well. So you can do this over and over really. I can create, I can do this several times in several different places. And if you plan your shot accordingly, so like say you set up a tripod shot or a stationary shot, and then you go stand over here for a second, then you come up closer and you stand over here for a second, and then you go over here and you stand for a second, then you can take that same one clip, take it into Premiere or Post and stack them all up on top of each other, cut them to the right times and mask them and then make them blink or do whatever else if you want. So my name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can check out a bunch more in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.